Hey Internet! I am here today wearing this very fun feather boa um, because I wanted to talk to you about the probably the single most important piece of advice that I have ever been given. And what's kind of funny is that I think at the time it was meant to be very kindly discouraging, um, if that is a thing. <laughs> but luckily I was able to find some real truth in it and it has very much shaped who I am today. Um, and how it was first given to me was when I was younger and I would go shopping with my mom for back to school clothes or what have you. Um, I would ask my mom, you know, oh, do you like this outfit? Or, you know, I'd be looking through magazines and I'd say, oh, what do you think about this hair color? Or, you know, what do you think about this shade of lipstick? Or, you know, whatever, any sort of little thing that if it was something that I thought I liked, but I wasn't sure how other people would respond to it. I would ask my mom. And if she liked it, she would just tell me that she liked it. But if she didn't like it, she would do this thing where she would make this, like, grossed out facial expression. And she'd be like, you're the one that has to wear it, Lindsay. Because I think she just got, like, so fed up with, like, having to tell me over and over that she thought what I liked was weird. Or maybe she was just trying to be polite. I don't really know. But either way, like, the, the tone of it was like, no, I do not like that, but I'm trying to not just say that's ugly. <laughs> and so when I was younger and less secure with myself and what I liked, I would take the tone behind that and just ignore the words and say, well, obviously, you know, people aren't responding po like positively to this, so I should not try this. But one day, I don't know, you know, I don't know what it is that happened to me that finally I just heard it. Maybe I just had to hear it enough times or maybe I just had to gain enough confidence before that, but finally one day she said that to me and it just hit me like, hey, I am the one that has to wear it. Like Nobody else has to wear this, and so all that matters is if I like it. And so I started trying new things. I started, you know, wearing and doing the things that I thought would make me happy, things that I thought I really liked. And I tried really hard not to think about what other people might think of it. And a lot of times I would know in the back of my head, like, oh, probably a lot of people are going to think I'm weird or what I'm doing is weird or what I'm wearing is weird or whatever. But I tried to focus on the fact that it was what I wanted and it was what I liked. And the more that I did it and the more that I still do it, those voices in the back of my head that say, oh, people are going to think you're weird or why are you wearing a necklace with Barbie arms all over or whatever, you know, <laughs> I try to, you know, I don't hear it as much. It doesn't, it doesn't come through. It do, I don't even think it as much anymore. And so I just do what I want and I, looking at myself now compared to looking at myself, oh my gosh, I just realized it was seven, it's been seven years now since I was a freshman in high school, looking at myself now versus seven whole years ago when I was a freshman in high school, maybe some people do think I'm weird. I don't know. I don't really care because I am so much happier with myself now and I feel like I am so much more purely who I am 
and I and it really just hits home for me when I'm wearing something I am expressing myself I'm not expressing someone else I don't want to express someone else that is for them to do it is for me to tell the world who I am and what I like and what's so awesome is that we all are different people and we like different things and so when I express myself it's going to be different than what you express or if I, and on another plus side of that if I am expressing who I am and someone likes what I'm wearing or likes what I'm doing I know that's, that they like me they don't like something that I am pretending to be and so it's that much more of a compliment when someone tells me that they like my outfit or they think that it's really cool that I did something or went somewhere. It, it means so much more when the things that I'm doing are an expression of who I am. And so what I would like to share with you is what was told to me. You are the one that has to wear it. You are the one that has to do it. So if it makes you happy, you should do it. If you like that Barbie arm necklace, or you like that feather boa, or you like a plain white t-shirt, do it. Wear it. Be happy. Express yourself. We are all given one same gift. And that is who we are. Who Everything that is just inherently, innately, individually you. And it is up to each of us individually to figure out what that is. And to express it for everyone to see so that we can all enjoy it together. And I think kind of rolling into that another comment that I get now very frequently it's kind of along the same lines of what I used to ask my mom and so now that I do the things that make me happy and I wear the things that I like no matter what I think other people will think of it people will tell me oh I love what you're doing love what you're wearing but I could never pull that off and what I always say, and what I want to make sure everyone that I can tell right now knows, and I love that Chelsea, super duper rad, uh, mentioned in her video, I, I just want everyone, I want it so badly, I want everyone to know that you can. Like, pulling something off it, it is a mental state. It's, I, I don't pull something off because I am better than you. I just made up my mind that, hey, this is what I'm going to do today, and it is going to be awesome. And as long as you have that mindset, you can pull off whatever it is that you want to do. And so right now, I'm rocking this feather boa. I am pulling off this feather boa. Because I put this on and I decided it was going to be really awesome. So I am challenging everyone this week and I'm going to participate as well. Um, but my challenge for you guys is to think of one thing that you really want. If, you, if it's as something as small as wearing a top or as big as traveling across the world, I don't know, it's up to you, but I want you to think of one thing that you really want to do, but for whatever reason you thought maybe you couldn't. And I would love it if you would write it in the comments below, or you can even inbox it to me, or Facebook me, whatever. Um, or even if you don't, if you just write it down for yourself but write it down somewhere and think of one thing that you really want to do that is going to make you happy and st 
start doing it. Um, you know, if it's something really big, obviously one week may not be enough time. Or even if it's something small, you know, everybody works at their own pace. So whatever it is, it doesn't have to be fully accomplished in a week. But this week, I want you to work on the mindset of knowing that you can do it. And what I'm going to do this week um, is I am going to work on my work clothes because I know that I get very kind of like downtrodden by the fact that I have to wear all black to work and also I am working so I usually don't wear the things that I like to wear when I'm at work and it makes me kind of feel off and a little bit less of like myself it makes me feel a little bit off and I don't know it's hard to explain but just not myself as much and I know the days that I go to work and I'm wearing something that I like and I've done my hair how I like to do it and whatever I know that I always feel better and I have a better day at work and so I only have a few shifts left this week before I start my vacation but for each of those four shifts that I have left that is what I'm going to work on I am going to try to wear more of the things that I like to wear and so yeah I have shared my weekly goal and I would love to hear yours as I said um, but if you don't want to share this okay but do write it down for yourself or make yourself a video blog memory just something that you can it's you know it's set out there it's not just in your head because if it's in your head then you can always go back on it but if you put it out there it's a lot harder so yeah and so I guess a week from now I will make another video and I will let you know where I got with making myself happier at work and that will be a place where you can go and share your progress for the week so I look forward to talking to you guys then. Bye! Good luck!